Tiger King and I. Yeah. This is a major uh, phenomenon. The, 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 the Tiger King is massive. I think it's one of the biggest documentary explosions uh, in certainly recent memory. It's been a gusher for Netflix. Mm. Then they decide to do a show uh, talking about that show and interviewing some of the people from the show and you get to host it. That's fantastic. How did this happen? Uh, well, I, I don't know. I think Ted Sarandos, who runs Netflix, lost a bet of some sort. No, uh, it was Ted Sarandos. I, I, I worked for Netflix a couple times, uh, and I had a show on there at one point, and he was just very nice and, I'll, and asked me if I would do it. And to which I did, uh, you know, I looked like a, uh, it was a Lucy sketch uh, saying yes, and uh, I, because I was a, I, I liked the series and to be, you know, to just have a tiny little part in it and interview some of these people was really fun. And then people gave me such shit uh, for asking if Joe Exotic should be in jail. Right. And I was like, that doesn't seem like a real hard hitting guy. Gotcha they, they thought that was a rude question. They were like, how dare you? How dare you? And I was like, hey, 19 felonies? Uh, uh, animal abuse and I was and they yeah. it was a weird thing because I think people see them as characters and not necessarily as human beings one of the things I had questions I had for you was uh, you know you actually getting to talk to these people and be around them a lot do you find yourself starting to empathize with them a little bit to the point that you think hey I've got a little property I could have I could own a tiger do you see yourself going that way in the near future uh I, yes, I only want like tigers that are two and a half years old. I want right. them to be full grown, young, and very dangerous and right. let them out anywhere, really. Uh, <laughs> I, I mean, why not? Uh, you know what? I, be... want to, I, I want to be the guy in LA who's known, who has incredibly old tigers, <laughs> like tigers that have lo they've lost their teeth. They're about, I don't know how long a tiger lives, but they're like in their late 60s <laughs> and they're losing, they've lost chunks of hair. I, I would mean, go to this zoo. They sit around my house all day long and they just, we feed them soup. That's the, those are the tigers I want. I that zoo should, would be popular, I think. Uh, could you imagine like the tour guide just going, uh, well, that's Benny and, uh, well, he's still asleep. And he's still asleep. He's been he's... sleeping for 15 hours. And then also no danger. And no. the big thing about that, that zoo uh, in Tiger King is they're constantly having to feed them massive amounts of protein. This, yeah. anytime I'd go to them with a bowl of soup, the tiger would be like, I'm, I'm good for now. <laughs> I'm good. I'm a little nauseous. And I'll be like, all right. All right. Let me know. And I'll let you know. Then you come back, he's like, it's your favorite. It's the soft noodles. <laughs> You've been doing some uh, promotion and I want you to explain this. Okay. This went viral online. This is you promoting the show. And mm -hmm. is this, um, is that your, your body? And then I believe you've, looks like you've shaved your lower area and written Netflix down towards the. Yeah, I shaved my entire body twice a day because it grows so fast yeah i'm sorry i just yeah look what is it, that what do you i am this is pornography how dare you uh some people like to promote their shows and uh well, i've heard and so i look you've been as you know you've been on television since 1955 when you took over for steve allen yeah and uh i this is my one shot and so does cut to me at eight o'clock or nine o'clock in a bathroom trying to write Netflix on my stomach. You did this? You wrote this yourself? I did. Uh, That's in a, impressive. I shot that alone in a room like a serial killer. And uh, yeah. I felt very much like it was Silence of the Lambs. And then the next day, my kids saw me with my shirt off and it said Netflix still because I was proud. And uh, they didn't even say anything.